Dr. Kumar, welcome to Australia in Space TV and welcome to the Andy Thomas Space Foundation Australian Space Forum. First time to Australia, I understand? Yeah, thank you. Uh, we really appreciate the offers taken by the Andy Thomas Foundation. Yes. We're very happy we came here first time and I'm working as Director, Promotion Directorate at the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center. It is a regulator of space, post space sector reforms. Uh, Government of India, led by Honorable Prime Minister Srinivas Modi, has permitted uh, to take up space activities by Indian companies. Private people can take up any activities in space, uh, anything like launch vehicle manufacturing, satellite making, orbitals require anything they can do under the sun in the space sector. Well, look, and you've landed on the moon uh, very recently too. Uh, ISRO uh, is definitely one to be watching uh, worldwide, uh, and you hear it at an Indian pavilion. Um, and also, just uh, news out yesterday, a new VC fund for uh, startups and, yeah. and the Indian ecosystem. I suppose, how does that uh, sort of bear internationally when you sort of travel, uh, when you compare what's happening in India worldwide? Do you think uh, India is out in front where you want to be? Yeah, see, we, India has all the capacity and capability developed by ISRO uh, till date. Uh, we are the pioneer, whether moon landing or uh, uh, going to Mars or Jupiter mission. We have a fleet of satellite, right? remote sensing, to communication, to navigation. And government of India is uh, taking all the necessary steps and helping the to develop the private space sector. Now it's a commercialization of the space activities has happened. So in that, uh, what all they need? They need uh, technical expertise. They need the facilities. Department of Space uh, owned facilities are extended through any space. Any private company can use the ISRO facilities to test their equipment. We have a panel of experts, those who uh, can provide their services. We pay for them yep. and uh, they are available for their service. And we are very happy the government of India in the visit uh, day for yesterday, they have announced 1,000 crore rupees uh, VC funding. Yep. It is around 200 million dollar Australian dollar. Well, maybe a little bit about the sort of the consultant. Uh, how, how many consultants are there, and I suppose how how much is it used? Uh, yeah, what, what kind of give that a scale? Uh, we have consultants. They are uh, resident expert. We call. They are in each sector, uh, like launch vehicle. We have consultants. Satellite manufacturing. We have consultant. We have a consultant for space applications yes. and we have a consultant for skill development as well. Got it. So what we do, all these uh, experts will provide their service, uh, they are on our payroll, means Government of India. So these are individual them. consultants but they, you have they consultants are paid covering, by, yes, They are got paid it. by uh, in space, uh, they are on our payroll and uh, they will put our application that we want to use as services so also that and I see a lot of emphasis. Yeah. Within there we have started on 19 February. So within this uh, three, four months time, around 50 plus requests has come. Great. So then th there's a very good unique scheme. Government is uh, helping them starting from uh, using of uh, testing facilities, using of expertise, providing expertise. We are uh, in review committee, we are reviewing their projects so that uh, space doesn't uh, tolerate any fault. So a lot of reviews we are conducting before them and helping them to correct them till final. So hand holding is another important. I like the, I like the term hand holding and, and it's, I think that's what startups uh, generally need. I suppose speaking about startups, there's a couple of startups here in Australia that uh, has signed agreements, Hex20, and valiant space. I'm, I can tell you we started this uh, journey to this date in 2022. September we had a round table conference with Australian companies and Indian companies. I was very surprised to see a lot of agreement. I can tell you it will be around a dozen uh, contracts and uh, MOUs has happened. Yep. And uh, very surprised two yesterday MOU were there for the feeling and two, uh, one MOU, one letter of intent has, has been exchanged today. So by the day, the cooperation between India and Australia is growing and we are happy about that. Together we can take the next, uh, take the space for the benefit of common man. Beautiful. Both the well look, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the two days here at the Australian Space Forum uh, in Adelaide and hopefully we'll see you back in Australia. We've got the Australian uh, and Indian test uh, coming up later on in the year as well. So that's one to watch and hopefully we'll see you in Perth 
the Indo-Pacific Space and Earth Conference uh, yeah. as well. See, we see there's a good chemistry between India and Australia. You yes. see that you see where the, we are the largest contingents here. Yes. You can see that yeah, uh, big nine companies has come running here and we see the fruit also. And uh, this is a very beautiful place and Australian people are very good. Uh, we, they are very good, kind and the kind of uh, reception they have given to us is awesome. Wonderful. We are very happy looking forward. September we are having BSX. Then we look for our APS, uh, APRSF, and yep. anyway, ISE 2025 is there. Wonderful. <laughs> Dr. Kumar, thank you very much for joining us on Australia in Space you. TV. I, I appreciate it.